Okay, so basically what I'm talking about is a medical mnemonic to recreate this chart right here. Um, it's on page 153. So there's a couple different mnemonics to recreate the top part of the chart here and then the middle and what associates with with the bottom. So we'll start with the top line. For the top line there's two uh, mnemonics that I have. It's and these mnemonics uh, correlate with you know the word and the first letter goes with the the acronym so you'll get it here in a second. So the first one is Pretty Pink Travis Crams. Pretty P R Pink P I Travis T R Crams C R. Um, the second one is uh, Great Gin is Gangster. So we have Great G R uh, Gin. This one's actually G H I H, but anyway, it's Gangster G N. Space between those two right there. All right, so um, basically, uh, after the first two letters, all these, it's just H. So P R H P I H T R H C R H uh, G R H. Um, or it's actually G H R H and then G H I H and then G N and then it's R H but that's close enough you know basically it'll get you close enough for the test um, so once again pretty pink Travis Crams uh, great Jen's gangster alright so f for the second line what these and these are the tropic hormones tropic hormones so the tropic hormones uh, which are hormones that just release to affect another hormone to do something else so these affect the next set of hormones and these actually come from the anterior uh, pituitary which is right here so they come from right here they go down and affect this to go on and do something else so the next acronym is and we, we'll just go from left to right. Um, it, and a lot of these go in pairs, so it makes it kind of easier. The next one is pretty pink perky boobies. So we have PR for pretty, PI for pink, and then PR for perky, um, and it's PRL, it's prolactin, and then boobies. Uh, I say boobies, but it's really breast. So both these two go to that. That goes on and affects the, the breast. The next one is TRH, and that uh, just stands for thyroid releasing hormone. And this one there's not really a mnemonic for, but it's pretty easy. It's thyroid releasing hormone, then thyroid stimulating hormone, and then it goes to, guess what, the thyroid. Uh, the next one, uh, there is a mnemonic for it. And all these are go with the first set I did. So I said this was pretty pink Travis Crams. So the next mnemonic is going to be cram adrenaline for the ACT. So adrenaline is, you can probably guess, the adrenal glands or the adrenal cortex. Uh, ACT is literally ACT and then H, just like all the other ones. So, And then the next one is, uh, th it's very similar to the the first one it's great gin is gangster it's just like the second one is so that's kind of good because it's repeating and it's these two right here um, that go together so you know you've got a pair two non pairs and a pair and great gin is gangster now this is just G for gangster and H now whenever you drink too much gin when a gangster drinks too much gin what's that effect it affects his liver so this goes down here for liver and pretty much the rest of his body too so liver and then rest of 
cells throughout the body. Alright, so great gin is gangster. It affects the liver and the rest of the body. Alright, the next one, and sorry I'm doing this with one hand too. So next you're left with gangster. Well, what do gangsters love? Gangsters love fat balls. So gangsters love fat balls. Another word for balls are just gonads. And you've got male and female gonads. So, gangsters love, that's L-H, fat balls, that's F-S-H. Um, that goes there. Now, another acronym that I use to remember all these is uh, goat flap. So, and that's not just these, but it's for the anterior and the posterior uh, hormones that are secreted as well. So goat flap. Goat flap. Uh, the G is for GH. The O is for oxytocin. That's in the posterior. Uh, the A is for ACTH. The T is for TSH, um, the F is for FSH, L is for LH, the A is for ADH, which is also in the posterior lobe, and then the P is for um, prolactin, or which is PRL. So you can write down both of these, this right after you do this, and then kind of use it to uh, go with those along the way as well. That's the whole mnemonic. Uh, you can see it here, and it's basically making this chart here. So hope that helps. Let me know if it doesn't.